Wow, blade lovers. There's so many damn designs out there these days with new knives. You can't keep track of them. Damn designs. Oh, that's who made this. The company's called Damn Designs. Okay, well, there's much fooling around as I suppose I can do today, but hope you go along with the levity. This is um, a Damn Designs knife, as you can tell. It is the Basilisk. They were recently released, um, I guess as recently as early in 2022. The new batches of them got going. And this is the first titanium-handled knife that I have gotten my hands on from Dam Designs. And the nice thing is they're offering a choice of 14C28N Sandvik, which this one is. But they're also offering S35VN for about, uh, I think, 160 somewhere around there. Um, I like the knife design. I have a fixed blade in this. If you um, check out my damn designs playlist, you will see that one. And I'll bring that out for comparison in a moment, along with some earlier models in G10. You can still get these in G10. The cool thing is I got this from all places white mountain knives and i was very surprised that they started carrying them because up till then it was only amazon or order direct from damn designs in i think washington state oregon or washington somewhere out there on the west coast at any rate we've got a beautiful stone wash really i'm digging this stone wash i mean this is this looks really good and you know you don't have to worry about munging this up a little bit and getting marks from your rings or usage what have you on it same thing with the blade really nice stone wash i'm not sure who's doing these for damn designs i heard it could be best tech might be best tech could be kubi there's a lot of companies out there that sell their own knives that are also oems for companies like damn designs and uh, damn designs Yes, do not make their own knives. They are made by someone else. Let's look at the measurements. Eight inches, point to pommel. And if we go to this little peak here, it's about four and a quarter, a little less, but sharpened edge is a little over three and a half. So they're calling it a three and a half inch knife, and that's probably why, because we have a very steep angle here. So it's on this one, it's really going to be the sharpened edge that counts, right? I would think. Um, we are in millimeters, so let's take a look at the blade stock. It's pretty thick. I think they advertise it as four millimeters, and I'm pretty sure I'm squeezing too hard on calipers. Well, I can get anything from, I think we're going to settle on four millimeters because that's what they're saying. So ends up being a 0.16. Handle is thin ends up being a 0.56 right it's not under five in five yeah it's not under half an inch so some people would consider under half an inch slim it's a weighty knife so we're going to find out there is some weight relieving which we'll take a look at in a moment i was surprised let's get the scale where you can see it and bingo six point three seven ounces and the reason for that is we've got these solid titanium handles however look at that they are skeletonized somewhat they're cut out on the uh, inside of those scales so I think this was coming in at 120 on White Mountain you might be able to see the uh, retail less in other places of course take 10 percent off if you use my discount code old sword so that would remove 12 bucks from that 120 and you'd end up around 108 free shipping no tax great effective file like jimping here they did a great job and got that nice little uh, peephole in there for a lanyard just thread it through. It's all part of the backspacer. Very neat, very well done. 
and a stonewash clip as well now is that stonewash clip yeah it is it's titanium so you're getting a lot for your money I think screws are steel definitely titanium in through here and we've got a steel liner so that's what I'm picking up with the magnet your locking liner right there is steel so we got steel on steel that's a good thing otherwise you'd have titanium on steel and you'd need to put an insert in there if you really didn't want to experience any galling great action on this by the way fires really well and it's just about drop shut alright so in these boxes here I have other damn designs I'm either cursing about the designs or telling about talking about the company right G10 on this one white G10 on the yokai here you can see the difference in blade shapes basilisk and yokai now the interesting thing will be we know basilisk is over six ounces what does the yokai weigh and I guess we could always refer back to my old review on it because I did a review on it but let's check it out right now if the scale would zero okay so uh, less on this uh, 5.68 so close to half an ounce less they're still not lightweight knives they're solid chunky knives with thick blades and I say thick blades but you've still got a grind a flat grind on this basilisk that goes up like uh, at least three quarters and they do a really damn fine edge on that <laughs> so that's the yokai and may as well get one more out of the box here here is the wendigo or wendigo however you'd like to pronounce that yet a different blade shape and you can see they're all about the same length knives just uh, that stubby multifaceted tanto on the Wendigo it's kind of neat also with a uh, see now that's a steel clip so interesting so they went with a titanium clip they look almost the same close up all the sharp objects here Clips look very similar, but that's a titanium clip and that's a steel clip, just so you know. How about we take out the basilisk fixed blade that came in recently? This was a direct order from Dam Designs. Check that out. Same blade shape, but taller and overall larger, as you can see. So if you like that blade shape, you want something bigger in a fixed blade, that's the one. Notice the uh, rivet or screw back right here, which removes from that side to take the handle scales off, is also that hexagonal shape. And it comes in a very nice case. But I did a review on this, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the fixed blade version of the basilisk. How about if we compare it to a regular old griptilian? Pretty close. Pretty close. It's slightly longer overall and taller and certainly heavier. And what if we compare it to the Rat 1? Rat 1's a narrower top to bottom blade but taller by about three I mean longer by about three quarters of an inch let's take another look around I like the overall look with the stone wash and the titanium that's why I was anxious to pick one up uh, they're sold out now in this model and in uh, some of the other models that uh, were available in White Mountain I think there's still some of the G10 model blades still out there. <clears throat> Notice you got a, a very nicely kind of blended uh, spacer in there which removes so that you can pop the clip over to the left side. You lefties are in luck. And like the other 
G10 knives, those screws are below the surface. They're dome head screws, but they're hiding down there underneath the surface of the handle. So now you're not going to hang up. And I've had this in and out of the pocket. Aside from a little bit of drag from the um, somewhat, not really rough, really, it's smooth, but it's not a slick surface. Uh, it's just about the right tension, I found. Got some good spring there. I had to pull pretty hard to get that off. Up, rather. There's a Dam Designs logo. The Ram's horns, I believe. And uh, some nice millwork around the edges here that I think is a little more meaningful than when you see it on the G10. But then again, that isn't there on the G10, is it? I thought it was. Nope. On the G10, basically, you're just getting a little bit of a, um, a light pattern. So they have made these titanium handles unique. It's kind of that stacked look. They are contoured, so although it's not really wide, it's slightly over a half inch, it really feels good in the hand. doesn't matter if I hold it uh, hammer grip or put my thumb on the back of the blade. can't really creep up here too well. I wouldn't try. I mean, you can, but whatever. And um, works pretty well. You can cap that pommel nicely. Look at that. Two angles for your thumb. <clears throat> right about where the joint is on the thumb. So you got a nice point down uh, hold for that. Just really a cool knife. So whether you get this one or you get uh, one of the other models that there's like a Bowie clip, and I forget the name of that one, but I'm going to do a review on that soon. I got one of those coming in in G Jade a G10. You be, you'll be able to check out that blade style, and that's also in 14C28N. Well, Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. This old sword will be back with you soon. Take care.